In this video, I will present my top 2 NHL picks for today, Tuesday, February 6th. I'm Professor MJ, a 15-year university statistics professor. The first betting tip is backed by one of my NHL betting systems. It is called the Scoring Drought. Let me explain the rules of this money-making betting angle very quickly. If the road team has lost its past two games by scoring three goals or less in each of those defeats, and they come into today's game with a money line greater than minus 125 in American format, or 1.80 in decimal, then we must bet them. That being said, I don't follow my systems blindly, so I always dig deeper to verify if it's worth betting or not. Today, there are two teams that qualify under this system, but there is one that I really like. On January 24th, and then again on January 27th, the Winnipeg Jets lost both of their games to the Toronto Maple Leafs, 1-0 in overtime and 4-2 a few days later. The Jets money line for today's contest is currently around plus 100 in American format, or 2.0 in decimal. So, given this situation, we must bet the road team, the Winnipeg Jets, in today's game against the Pittsburgh Penguins. That's pick number one for me in the National Hockey League. Not so long ago, the Jets were flying high. From December 30th to January 20th, the Jets were on an impressive run of victories, winning 10 of 11 games during that time frame. However, just prior to the All-Star break, the Jets came crashing back to earth with a three-game losing skid. A loss to the Bruins preceded two straight losses to the Leafs. I think they are ready to rebound after the much-needed break. In the same time frame, the Penguins held a 5-5 record. They are coming off the back of an overtime victory against the Montreal Canadiens. However, prior to this contest, they lost three consecutive games to Vegas, Arizona and Florida. In great news for the Jets, Mark Shifley is due to make his return to the ice after being out with an injury. The Jets are much better when Shifley is in their lineup as he adds a potent force to their front line. Prior to this injury, Shifley had 41 points to his name for the season, with 14 goals and 27 assists. The Jets have also made a very nice acquisition to their side with Sean Monahan making his way over to the Jets after being traded by the Canadiens. During Monan's stint with Montreal this season, he's posted some pretty good numbers. He had 13 goals and 22 assists during his 49 games with Montreal side. This signing should provide some added firepower up front for the Jets. One area of concern is that despite the Jets winning their past meeting against the Pens, they had previously lost to them on four straight occasions. Furthermore, the Penguins have won 16 of their past 20 encounters. However, the Jets are a much better club this year, especially away from home. This season, the Jets have an away record of 14-5-3. In the previous two seasons, the Jets' away record was below 50%. One of the main reasons I like the Jets in this matchup is their ability to stifle the attack of their opponents. The Jets' defense has been stingy all season. They've gone 35 of their past 37 games, giving up no more than 3 goals. This can largely be attributed to their goalies, of course. They've been outstanding between the pipes. Winnipeg is expected to start Connor Ellebock to guard the net tonight. He's been very impressive with a 23-9-3 record this season, including two shutouts. He owns a goals against average of 2.20 and a save percentage of 928. I believe the Jets at plus 100 odds is great value, and I'm confident they will get the job done against the Penguins in this one tonight. So, give me the Jets tonight. Let's move on to my second hockey pick after this quick break. My second bet in the National Hockey League for today is the 
Vancouver Canucks as road underdogs against the Carolina Hurricanes. As of now, the money line varies between plus 120 and plus 125 in American format, which equates to a range between 2.20 and 2.25 in decimal odds. This pick is backed by two of my NHL betting systems called the Hot Teams Matchup and the Stingy Goalies. Let me review the rules of the latter betting strategy with you. Suppose a team has won its past three games while allowing a maximum of three goals in each of those victories. If they are at home today, bet against them, provided the road team's money line is better than minus 135, to avoid taking big favorites, which have not proven to be profitable. This set of rules fits here. While winning their past three games, Neither opponent score more than two goals in any contest as the Hurricanes allow a total of five goals over that stretch. Both Carolina and Vancouver were on a roll prior to the All-Star break, each team winning four of their last five matches. The Hurricanes have been dominant at home, posting a 15-5-4 record on the season. The Canucks have been equally impressive on the road, with a 15-7-3 record so far this season. The Canes have managed to keep the puck out of the net. However, injuries at the goalie position are a source of concern. Piotr Koshetkov, who hasn't played for the Hurricanes since January 11, was recalled from the AHL on Sunday and is expected between the pipes tonight to face the highest scoring team in the NHL at 3.80 goals per game. So, in summary, I am grabbing a couple of road underdogs today. First, I'm putting my hard-earned money on the Jets to defeat Pittsburgh. And I'm also going with Vancouver to win in Carolina. Would you like to get the top Super Bowl pick from more than 10 betting experts? That's what the Super Bowl Bookie Crushers Summit is all about. And the good news is that this online event is completely free and one of the guest speakers I was able to get is a former NHL player turned into a sports handicapper. If you wish to view the lineup of betting experts who will be sharing their best Super Bowl bet, simply go to the registration page whose link is below in the comments section. Go sign up now because the virtual seats are limited to 2000 which is not that much given how each speaker is promoting this summit to all of his followers. Cheers, my friend!